Hey everybody, Nash here. Got another car project, my 2008 Ford Taurus Limited. Speedometer went out of, out of whack. Um, so I'll be showing you today how to tear, well, I'm gonna attempt to tear the dashboard apart and see if we can repair it. Let's get started. <laughs> All right, I'll give you a little bit of background what, what's happening here. Um, just all of a sudden, the speedometer is anywhere from 15 to 20 miles per hour off. Um, I've found some places online that talk about checking the transmission, this, that, and the other thing. And then one guy just kind of threw out there, oh, I tore the dashboard apart and just moved the needle manually. Well, it looks like the speed is correct um, based on GPS and various other tests. Um, so we're going to try tearing this dashboard apart, getting the, uh, odometer and, uh, everything out and see if we can gently move the needle to the zero and see if that works. All right. So in an attempt to do this, um, I'm going to do this as we go. Uh, I don't know exactly what I'm getting into or how to tear this apart, but, um, if you can see, I don't know if you'll see the two screws one here and one here they appear to be a uh, 930 seconds um, nut so I'm gonna take those out and see what else we need to tear apart okay I called these uh, nuts but they're uh, hex head screws so I just wanted to clarify that so people didn't think I was crazy. Um, I have some of these. They're just little pry wedges. Uh, I don't know how much they are individually. I got them in a kit when I bought something else. Um, but I use these to just kind of pry back. I'll show you kind of what I did here. So I took the two screws out. They come out. Um, this three. Oops, sorry guys. This right here has a clip. I don't know if you guys can see that. Let me open my door. No, I won't open my door because then my CD player starts going nuts. I'll show you as soon as I get it out. Um, but here, if we look here, there is, uh, you see that? Whatever that is, I'm not quite sure. I'll see it when I get this all out. It's connected to this right here with two clips. Uh, I had to get in there, kind of hold this out and then pry those two clips out and they're pinch clips that go in and then pull out. All right, I got all four bolts out, or screws actually, and it'll come out, but I wanted to, everyone to see this. You can see where my speedometer is way down here. Even my tack is way low and those bolts should be at zero. And just to verify that, I looked at other a couple other cars just to verify that the tachometer and speedometer needles are supposed to be at zero. So uh, now we're gonna try to take this out. And it looks like to take this glass off, I just need to take out, there's a probably clipped in here, here, and maybe a couple more across the top, but I'll get it out and then we'll go from there. All right, so I got this apart, as you can see. Um, I'm assuming Someone else tried to do the same thing before I bought it. That's why they cracked the glass. No, well, I was mistaken. These clips don't do anything. Um, they need to hold the glass on. But um, as you can see, uh, these are the clips. You just need to pry off around the outer edge of the cluster. So let's we'll see if we can gently pry this up. Oh, well that came off fairly easily. I'm gonna put it on zero and try not to break anything because it looks like the pin that the that it goes back into is very very um, thin, so it could be fragile. So I'm just being careful to just gently pull up and not turn it; just kind of pry it off. I don't want to damage anything by trying leaving it in and then turning it. Um, so I'm just pulling it off, 
Try to line it up to zero now and put it back on. So now they're both reading zero. So I'm gonna put this all back together and see how well it worked. Um, but before I do, since I have it apart, I noticed I had a couple lights out. Well, as you can see, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight light bulbs. So I'm gonna replace those as well. I'm gonna replace all of them. I had, I think, two out. I'm gonna replace all of them. And it looks like they're relatively easy. Just twist and then pull them out. So it's a really teeny tiny light bulb. I guess I'm gonna make a trip to AutoZone and get some new lights in this thing. All right, quick trip to AutoZone. And I got some ba uh, bulbs for this. They had uh, a couple different bulbs. This is a 73. And there was a 74, and the guy said uh, the only difference between them is 0.1 watts. Um, and then they actually had another one, but it was like double the size of probably, I, I'm guessing, the 1.2 watt. Um, could have been double size of number 73. But um, he said uh, sometimes you get the bigger wattage, you might end up melting or um, doing something with a plastic you know, on, inside here. So I thought, you know, I'll just, you're not going to see much difference between one, uh, 0.1 watts. So I'll just stick with the, the smaller ones. So um, these come out pretty easy. I don't know. Uh, you just kind of twist it. And I, I think I already mentioned this, but it comes out and it's just a teeny tiny bulb. And this just pulls straight out. Just that easy. So I'm going to go ahead and change. I got, they only had four, so I'm going to change four of them. I know at least two were bad, so I'll just change four of them and um, we'll put this all back together. All right, <clears throat> so I only ended up replacing two bulbs. Um, the new bulbs, I don't know if you're able to see this, are slightly bigger than the old ones. So, yeah. Um, I ended up breaking this one slightly, trying to get it in. It wouldn't go in so i decided not to replace it it wasn't one that i needed to replace so um yeah i just replaced the two that were bad i'll probably just return the other two that i got um and maybe see if i can find us the smaller size online i mean they almost look like they're the same size but they are just slightly bigger they're slightly wider at the base too so if you compare them so well, I got the cluster back in. Now I'll just put the surround back on. And one thing I did not show you guys that I wanted to show you was on the vent side. The vent side um, comes out a little difficult, but there's this little clip I didn't see. So when I pulled it out, um, it was a little more difficult without seeing that clip. It was getting caught on the, um, uh, the plastic over there. It's like a soft plastic or it could be even a, like a leather pleather kind of a thing. So, um, yeah, I'm going to try to get this uh, um, little vent on the key, key side of the cluster and see if I can get that hooked back in. I don't know how fun that's going to be, but we're going to give it a quick try here. So there's not a whole lot of room. Okay, well, that went in pretty easy. It was a lot more difficult to take out than it was putting in. So, all right, I'm going to get this all buckled up, and then we'll take it for a ride and see how well the uh, speedometer and tachometer uh, read. Okay, so turn the GPS on. I followed the GPS uh speed up to 55 hit the cruise control looked at my speedometer and it's dead on 55 well i shouldn't say dead on 55 but um if you know your taurus is very odd on it's the the uh, numbers on your speedometer so it looks like it's about 55 56 um it, it's close though so no more 20 miles per hour slower if i can I'll see if I can get the camera on it so you guys can see it. But, um, yeah, the, the two I needed to change, the bulbs I needed to change, 
one of them sits behind the zero to 40 mile per hour uh, on speedometer, and the other sits behind the four to 7,000 uh, RPMs on the tachometer. Um, of course, I couldn't change the one on the tachometer because um, the bulb wouldn't fit. So I uh, hope I never really need to four or five or 6,000 RPMs to see those at nighttime. Uh, I think the speedometer was uh, um, more important. So I'm gonna see if I can turn this camera so you can see and drive at the same time. Don't try this at home, kids. All right, so you can see, hopefully you can see, um, it's kind of dark, getting a little dark, but it's hanging right around 56 or so miles an hour. So, hey, looks like the gentleman's uh, idea to take it out and put it back in worked. So, and it wasn't that big of a project. So, hey, there we go. Remember, if you guys like the camera motion going everywhere, just let me know. Um, and if you guys uh, make sure you subscribe to my channel and um, leave comments down below. And if you have any questions, leave those down below too. Thanks.